Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Ajay Parmar and uh, you're watching video number 529 today. Uh, this is the channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar where you can watch 520 plus, uh, 29 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VPA. This is going to be the intermediate level video and here I will be talking about if you want to copy and paste the folders, the complete folder which means uh, you have files you know inside the folders and you want to not just copy the files you just want to completely you know copy the folder and you want to paste it somewhere else maybe inside the other folder how you can do that right so this is going to be a video uh, on the file system object if you need the proper if you want to learn the you know uh, from from this channel uh, because there are so many videos here then uh, you can go and follow this playlist sequence which right now is showing in front of you so we have the videos on excel vba excel access front end access vba outlook vba and, uh, and and just two videos on the web designing so this is how you should follow the the entire sequence and uh, this is the excel vba file handling very important if if you haven't been to this playlist please go and enjoy all the videos there are uh, like uh, eight ten videos over there and uh, they they'll tell you how to deal with the files uh, inside you know uh, they are located inside the folder so how you can get them open compile the data from there how to delete the files how to open the files how to move the files and then how to create the folders how to check whether this drive exists or not you know everything related to files and the folders right so let's talk about today what we exactly want to do so as you can see here so what i will do uh, this is uh, one of my, you know, the folder over here and you can see that it has many files. It has text file, Excel files, uh, some Excel macros files and then the word. So whatever it is, what we want to do, I want to sh copy this entire folder along with their, you know, uh, the, the files obviously. And we want to, uh, let's say, paste that, you know, over here. Maybe I, I just go and create a folder over here, for example test this is the name of the folder i'm gonna give so i want that right now if i go here you know it is empty so what if you want to completely copy this folder and put it inside the test folder remember now guys i'm not here actually uh, you know moving the files i'm actually gonna copy the entire folder not just the copy copying the files so let's go and talk about this now the guys whenever as i always say that whenever you are going to deal with the the folders or the files the first thing which comes in your mind is that go and make a use of a library which is the microsoft scripting runtime library so just press m scroll it down they are all alphabetically sorted libraries so we will pick up this microsoft scripting runtime so it's gonna be somewhere here uh, yes so this is the library which you must activate check mark that click ok Come back to the tool and the reference make sure it is coming on the top now right so you can see that after your these by default libraries which you can't deactivate it's coming here microsoft scripting runtime right you don't have to on this outlook 16.0 because this is something i was using previously when i was working with the outlook so you've got to make sure you should be having microsoft scripting runtime library check marked now what is the next thing i want to do so now let's start the macro so there we go let's say i give this name called let's say dummy macro okay and you make sure that you give the good name because macros um, don't give them any any sort of name make sure we when when somebody reads the macro or you yourself reads the macro name you know it should actually tell you about the, what it what it is meant for why it was created so now uh, what we will do uh, we will the first thing we will do we will create here the fso as the scripting file system object library now guys you know when i press yeah so i'll show you again when i press as and space you get to see here scripting library dot file system object now this is coming because of the obvious reason that we have you know we we gone to this tool reference and we made uh, this scripting runtime activated if you don't have this library activated you will not see this 
when you press as and space bar you know you'll not see that scripting library coming which is not going to make your code working so let's go and write fso equals to new file system object library so this is how we write new file system object now once you have done that now why actually i have created this there is a specific reason because in the vba in the excel vba if you go and write a file system object i uploaded a video also recently on this uh, you know where we talked about how how to make sure that whether the drive uh, any specific drive that drive exists in the other user's machine or not right so that's why you see this file system object coming here but you need to type it make sure uh, you type it on the once you have that library in the tools reference activated so when you click here these are all the different different methods which we can use right if you want to open the text file you can use open text file move file move folder right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this today the copy folder that is why we are using the file system object library so now we will declare our folder so you want to declare the folder dim fol as scripting dot folder what is your folder so your folder is going to be equals to episode dot get folder so we have to write the folder path over here within the double quotes so i go and copy this entire path this is my path as you can see so i'm going to copy it and i'm just going to paste it over here now once you have done that guys you simply need to write you know folder dot copy right if, if you want to move it you can also move it you can use the move method as well right so i just want to copy it when you press space bar you see the destination as string now here you have to write that folder path where, where is where, where is that your folder which where you actually you know want to put that the entire folder you know you want to copy that so i'm just going to paste that this test and then this is the string where i'm gonna actually copy the entire folder and by the way uh, in this excel batch uh, when, when i when i uh, you know when i'm over here make sure that i should be actually selecting this complete folder because the folder name is geomank right so i go and let me just cut that line and paste it here again now this is a complete folder right now when i run this look at this right so when i run this i hover my mouse you see that fol is showing us that the folder is captured and now if i run this the line is you know it has run now let's go and check that whether we got this the folder this folder geomank along with all these files if it is created under the test folder or not so let's go to the excel batches in the excel batches this is my folder which i created if you remember this was empty now i'm gonna double click on it guys let's go and check that look at this the entire folder is showing here now if i further go inside this folder we have all the files coming here that's a fantastic thing so we have actually copied the folder we didn't use the move otherwise it would have cut and you know pasted the entire folder here because right now if i go to the excel batches you see that the folder is still existing and i still have all the files over here because i'm just copying and pasting it so this is how you now you, you can actually copy and paste the folders as well along with the files not necessarily that it's going to work for the files only but it can be worked on the entire folder also right so this is the code in front of you i hope you 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 will when you will do this you can make pretty awesome things over here because it's very easy now for us to move or the copy the folders you don't have to do this manual task right so that's it for now guys and don't forget to watch that playlist excel vba file handling it it has got uh, around 8 10 videos and uh, when you click there uh, the sequence is already there so watch the videos in the proper sequence the sequence which you find there and, um, and this is for those people who do not know anything about this files scripting you know the library if you already know it you can pick up all the random you know any random video from there right so thank you so much and do subscribe to the channel do like the video and post your comments because whenever you comment whenever you like the video that means that you know it actually basically uh, as a youtuber you know it gives me a lot of confidence and a lot of energy that i should come back and you know talk more and more on these topics so i'll see you in my next video have a fantastic learning bye bye